Concerned and frustrated parents, community, and faith leaders held a rally at the Thompson Center today to address the proposed budget cuts to essential community programs, such as daycare and violence prevention programs. Those who assembled today say these cuts could spell trouble for thousands of people and their families in the state. It is now time for the governor to repent for what he has done and do the right thing because black, brown, yellow, red, all are precious in God's sight. We will not stand by and allow him to think that these people in our community are invisible or put on the back porches of society. Protesters were joined by the Father Michael Flager of St. Sabina Church on the city's south side. His church is primarily African American and many of his parishioners are directly affected by the proposed cuts. Father Flager reports over $900,000 have been cut from the church's after-school and youth employment programs. These are our children that are dying in our streets and nobody seems to give a damn in Illinois that our children are being shot and killed. That's why we're here. This is not a cute rally. After the rally, Father Flager and members of his group tried to enter the Thompson Center to deliver letters to Governor Rauner's office, but only one representative was allowed in. They then sat in front of the main entrance, which police already blocked, until they all were allowed in, forcing others to use alternative entrances. Not everyone was supportive of the rally, however. One woman who asked us not to show her face says the protesters should start in their communities first and should not waste time with useless picketing. Fix your community first. Fix your environment at home first. Then come for the government. Because the government will say, why should we send our troops out there when you guys are killing each other? We need our troops for people to save people. Not to save the people that don't want to be saved. Save each other first. A lot of the times, the poor or people that live in poverty don't have a voice. Just because you live in poverty, you don't have to be poverty stricken. So yes, we're not just advocating for a certain population, we're advocating for everyone, whether you live in Evanston, whether you live in the south side of Chicago, whether you live in Orland Park, we know that there is still rec reconciliation that needs to take place. The rally ended peacefully with Father Flager saying that he would go back to St. Sabina, write a letter to both the governor's chief of staff and the governor, and invite them to see just how much these proposed cuts will affect the community. I'm Charles Jefferson reporting for the Columbia Chronicle.